Radio Australia. Transmitting through the Melbourne studios of the Australian Broadcasting Commission. Radio Australia, the overseas service of the Australian Broadcasting Commission. We're transmitting the North America and Central Pacific service on 17.84 megacycles per second, 16.82 meters, 15.32 megacycles, 19.58 meters, and 21.74 megacycles, 13.80 meters. The time in Eastern Australia is 11.01 .01 hours. On the morning of Friday, the 11th of July, 1969, and this is Vic Kennedy, pleased to be with you once more at for the next hour. The South Australian Senator, Nick Xenophon, says the ABC has underestimated the impact shutting down its shortwave service will have. The broadcaster will today switch off its shortwave transmission in remote parts of northern Australia and across the Pacific. Senator Xenophon says he plans to introduce legislation next week to force the ABC to reinstate the service. He says the loss of the service will be felt far and wide. The fact is this will affect thousands of Australians who are in remote areas, but it seems it will affect many tens of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of people that are regular Radio Australia listeners throughout the region. The Northern Territory Cattlemen's Association Chief Executive Officer Tracy Hayes says many Territorians feel abandoned by the decision to switch off the shortwave service. This sends a fairly strong signal to people that live in the bush that they are no longer the national broadcaster and that they simply have lost interest. For those of us that live and work in rural areas, and it's very difficult to, uh, to draw any other conclusion. Well, that's it, folks. After 80 years of shortwave broadcasting and 72 years at this site, at Shepparton, Victoria, the Australian Broadcasting Commission now considers shortwave too old-fashioned. And if you live in a remote area now and you want to listen in, you'll just have to carry around a satellite dish. <laughs>